I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com. This is Verizon's Pantech Perception. Let's unbox it. It's the Pantech Perception and it's available now at Verizon Wireless. We just got our unit in the office at PhoneDog. It's time to do an unboxing. Before we start too far into the unboxing, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Band a giveaway game. When you walk into that Best Buy store to get your Perception or whatever device you decide to go with, you'll walk out working. They'll get your email, contacts, web, and all that good stuff set up and ready to go. So Pantech Perception, lithium ion battery, wall charger, USB cable, and that's about it that comes in the box. But what I like about this device is it brings a nice value proposition to Verizon Wireless with some great specifications all around at a reasonable price point. 1.5 gigahertz, dual core processor, you've got one gigabyte of RAM, so at least on the RAM side, maybe a little bit, uh, leaving a little bit to be desired, I should say. But one gig of RAM, face unlock, of course, with Android 4.0. That's going to be another hard spot for a lot of people that are Android techies or even people that are just wanting the latest and greatest because Android 4.1 and 4.2 are kind of the ones that are up there on the latest and greatest chart, and this device comes out of the box with Android 4.0. Also specifications, 2020 milliamp hour battery. You've got the camera on the back, of course, here, eight megapixel camera, flash, 1080p HD video recording, and a nice design that's kind of reminiscent of the Droid line of devices. So we'll go ahead and power that on, but before we do that, volume rocker over here, on-screen buttons, power button on the right side, micro USB charging port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. In the box, you get, of course, the SIM card, which comes actually not in the box, but the rep gives that to you when you sign up. USB cable, AC adapter module, and then of course all the goodies, the start here guides and more, which I won't waste too much of your time reading those. So we can take a look at the device itself. So it's powering up right now, reminiscent of some other Pantech devices we've seen, including the one that was released at CES on AT&T. And here's our startup animation. And again, it seems to be running relatively quickly so far, but let's put it through the paces once it powers up. The Verizon 4G LTE logo coming up right now. So let's see ice cream sandwich. And it has some nice features as well that are reminiscent of Samsung's air gesture features on the Galaxy S4, including the ability to make, co uh, excuse me, to wave the hand over the phone and it's called Motion Sense. So you can use Motion Sense, wave your hand over and answer the call if you're on the fly. Perhaps you're in the car and you have it in a car dock or something like that. You can wave your hand over, which is a really nice touch. So again, applications in this user interface, we've seen it before on previous Pantech devices, but you've got your on-screen buttons back home and recent applications, but the downside is you don't have Google Now because it doesn't have Android 4.1 or up. It has Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Hopefully at some point it'll get that. And you can see this really kind of unique 4G LTE logo, which I'll bring it up to the camera so you can take a look there, along with a physical battery percentage indicator, my favorite, and then some included applications like Verizon apps, My Verizon Mobile, Gallery, and of course some Pantech customized icons. You've got IMDB and NFL, Real Racing 2, Verizon Tones, Setup Wizard, VZ Navigator, Visual Voicemail, and then of course you can create custom folders for your content as you see fit. Keyboard looks pretty decent as well here, and you can see it pop up right now. And of course, portrait to landscape transitions seem to be pretty nice and pretty fast overall. Little to no lag there, despite only having one gigabyte of RAM. And then you've got, of course, the display at 4.8 inches, bringing it up to Galaxy S3 sizes and making it pretty easy for the most part to type on the screen. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Pantech Perception on Verizon Wireless, a 4G LTE capable device with a reasonable price point. I'm on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron, Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker. Thanks for watching. More to come on this Pantech device on PhoneDog.com.